In this theorem, we are going to talk about uh, very important certain results about the modular calculation. So it's very useful for any calculation like that. Let's say a, b, c's, and m's are integers, and m is a positive integer because we are going to use that one as a, a modular number. And our assumption at this moment is a is congruent to b modulo m, and c could be any integer. Then if we add any integer c on both sides of that, we can keep this congruency. Even subtraction is okay, and multiplication is also good. Division is not working because some division between two integers doesn't give us integer as a result, right? So it's only for these three operations. Let's prove it. Our assumption is a is congruent to b modulo m. Then by the definition, m is a divisor of a minus b. Then if we add c and subtract c, it doesn't change the number itself. So instead of a minus b, we can put a plus c minus b minus c. So still m is a divisor of that number. But if we put this a plus c together and b plus c after bring out negative number in front of it, then this part looks like a plus c minus b plus c, right? Then that's exactly the same formats like this. So only instead of a and b, we use a plus c and b plus c. So from there, we can say a plus c is congruent to b plus c modulo m. So that's the results of the first. Okay. The second one is, we still start with a is congruent to b modulo m. Then by definition, m is a divisor of a minus b, which means by the same reason, we can subtract c first and add c later for this number, which keeps exactly the same results. But in here, we can say a minus c minus b minus c, I have to factor out negative from b, a uh, negative b and plus c, right? So the form should look like a minus c minus b minus c. And m is a divisor of this number, therefore a minus c is congruent to b minus c modulo m. The third one, same routine steps. A is congruent to B modulo M, which means M is a divisor of A minus B, which means A minus B is a multiple of M, which can be written by M times K for a certain integer K. Then we can multiply any integer C on both sides, but still keeping this equality between them. So A minus B times C equals MKC. Then Let's arrange it a little bit. This one is AC minus BC right? equals M times KC. That's the one step is hidden here. Right? So that compared with uh, th any of these results, right? Or the by the definition, right? So A minus AC minus BC is a multiple of M, uh, M right? Because M times KC, KC is another integer. So by the definition of congruency, we can say AC is congruent to BC modulo M. So that's the end of the proof.